Section 2.3 is about the continuity of Shannon's information measures for fixed finite alphabets. This topic is actually beyond the scope of this course. However, we can nevertheless develop some appreciation for the issues involved. It turns out that when it comes to continuity, there's a huge difference between finite alphabet and countable alphabets. First of all, all Shannon's information measures are continuous when the alphabets are fixed and finite. This is precisely because all the summations are finite. For countable alphabets, namely that the alphabet contains an uncountably infinite number of elements, Shannon's information measures turns out to be everywhere discontinuous, which is rather surprising. To probe further, I would refer you to problems at the end of the chapter, namely problems 28, 29, 30, and 31, and you may also want to look into this paper published in 2009. The next definition explains what it means by the continuity of the entropy function. Let P and Q be two probability distributions on a common alphabet script X. The variational distance, also called L1 distance, between P and Q is defined as VPQ equals the summation over all X, the absolute difference between PX and QX. The entropy function is continuous at the target distribution p if the entropy of p prime, as p prime tends to p in variational distance, is equal to the entropy of the limit of p prime as p prime tends to p, that is the entropy of p. In other words, the order of taking the entropy function and the limit can be exchanged. Or equivalently, for any epsilon bigger than zero, there exists a delta bigger than zero, such that the absolute difference between HP and HQ is less than epsilon, for all Q satisfying VPQ is less than delta. In other words, as long as Q is sufficiently close to P in variational distance, the difference between HP and HQ is less than epsilon. Let us look at an example. Let x be the set of all positive integers, which is a countably infinite alphabet, or simply a countable alphabet. Let px be the deterministic probability distribution, which consists of one probability mass equal to 1, and the rest equal to 0. And let pxn be the probability distribution, consists of the probability mass 1 minus 1 over square root log n, and then followed by n copies of 1 over n times square root log n, and then followed by all zeros. It is easy to see that as n tends to infinity, pxn tends to px because the first probability mass tends to 1, and the n following probability masses all tends to 0. So as n tends to infinity, the variational distance px and pxn, which can be evaluated to 2 divided by square root log n, tends to 0. However, the entropy of the limit as n goes to infinity pxn, which is equal to the entropy of px, namely the entropy of deterministic distribution, is equal to 0, but the limit as n tends to infinity, the entropy of pxn, can be shown to be equal to infinity. This is left at an exercise.